finally got my hands on these three mods, Naira's Contempt, Amar's Contempt, and Borel's Contempt. This is where you can get these mods from the bounties on, you can first start off with uh, Cetus, and then once it turns night on Cetus, you'll have to go to Orzvalis, which is on Fortuna. So, first starts off with Cetus, then when it turns to night, it's Orvalis. And 3-3's mods are actually pretty good, alright? I think I really enjoy most is Borel's Contempt, because the weapon Corum is a really good weapon, and with this mod on, it just does spectacular damage, okay? So, really good damage, and I've actually already done two builds for Amar, oh, sorry, the uh, Dual Daggers, Neferi, and the Pole Arm, Corum. So, I haven't done a build for the Whip, which I do have, but honestly, I don't think I'm going to do a build. I'll just show you guys this build in a video, but honestly, the Whip is not really what it seems like, and I think it might be a bug in the Simulacrum, but I don't really know what's going on with that. Now, besides that, there's also other mods in this game right now that you can pick up for your Warframe, which is all these mods. So you got Nyra's Hatred, Borel's Hatred, Amar's Hatred. Like, these are the mods you're gonna have to use on your Warframe as well for these weapons, all right? And these weapons are for these weapons. Set Whips, said Dual Daggers, said Pull Arms. So... Makes a lot of sense. These can go on these three weapons. Alright. These three types of weapons. So the Vertilac. This is the whip you can get for the bounties. Cetus and Knight will be or Ballas. Now the Vertilac. It's a high crit and decent status. Good crit multiplier. It's got good impact. Well nobody cares about that. Puncture 170.4 and slash. 213, which has good, good slash damage, all right, high slash damage, so over 426 damage is doing, so high crit, pretty good, and honestly, I enjoy it, and mostly everybody just use whips as slide attacks, so that's another dope thing about whips, but this whip, honestly, I don't really know what the problem is, like using it in here is just, I don't know, it might be a bug, I don't freaking know what it is, but it's not letting me do the high damage that I want, so, yeah, but this is the build setup that I have, and I was using Prime Reach with it, which is really good, but then again, like I said, it just might be a bug in the, using it in the Simulacrum, because, yeah, it's like, I don't know. It's not reaching high damage, or maybe at the time I'm doing it, it's just not, it just won't let me do it like a high damage. All I'm seeing is low numbers. I'm seeing a bit of high numbers, then low numbers, then that, you know. So it might be a bug in the Simulacrum, again. But it's a high crit weapon, which I think is pretty dope. And, um, yeah, it just might suck using it in the Simulacrum because it might just seem like it doesn't do what it's supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? But I was hitting these enemies without even, like, slide attacking, and it's actually doing high crit damage. As you can see right now. So that's actually really good. Just might be able to use it for that. Instead of just you know. Slide attacks and everything. But yeah. It's doing some really high crit damage. And honestly I think that's all I can really manage to do with this weapon. You can also do the slam, the, uh, slam attack. It pulls out this electricity damage as well. Which I don't even know how this is doing that, but yeah, it says high energy, so I'm guessing electricity. <laughs> I really don't know, but uh, yeah, that's not even doing enough damage really to even, uh, you know, even keep doing the slam attack. Now, I have on the build the Amar's Hatred, and I don't think that's supposed to be it, is it? Yeah. You know what? That makes a whole lot of sense why it wasn't doing the slam attack damage. That makes a whole lot of sense. Uh, wait, no, sorry. Wait, what? Oh. 
because it's English. That's why it wouldn't let me switch it out. That makes a whole lot of sense because I was like, why am I not doing a good enough slash uh, slam attack damage? And that makes a whole lot of sense. This was not in here. So going back to that, now everything is at 300 slam attack damage. <laughs> that makes a whole lot of sense. So let's go ahead and build up the damage now. Not a bad whip. Like, I think it's better than most of these whips in the game. Ooh. That's some pretty high uh, crit over there. But, uh, yeah. I, I mean, it might work out. But not in the simulacrum. Because, I don't know. It's just a freaking bug or something. I don't know what's wrong with this. But anyways, pretty nice. Moving on to the Corum. Oh, this weapon is absolutely amazing. If you don't have the Corum yet, then I would say most definitely pick this weapon up. Alright, really dope weapon. Really good. Uh, pretty good high crit. Not high enough to get, uh, let's say, red crits, but good weapon. All right, so most definitely I would say get this one. All right, so this build over here is what I'm using, and I have the Brawl Rails Content on. All right, so using this alone, like, it's really freaking good, yo. You see the damage increased. From what I had before, the damage has increased. You can do some high orange crit with this weapon. As you can see. And I would just use those mods, like the... Content mods without Prime Reach. Because it'll just give you more damage. And that's what I would just say. That's my opinion. Alright. So going back to this. Boros Contempt gives you a reduces damage by 20% Airborne. Well, honestly, I really don't care about that. But, hey. You know, we got the mods. So why not just test it out? <laughs> this will probably work on more of... E not Equinox. But her name is Zephyr. All right, and that would work on more Zephyr than, you know, using the lady here, Equinox. But, yeah, let's go ahead and search up these mods because this is going to take too long. All right, so we got the Anguish here, Hatred here, and it gives you 60% of da reduced damage when airborne. So, let's take off that and try it out. Yeah, I'm gonna get... Um, I, yeah, I kind of figured. Just use uh, Zephyr. <laughs> Just try it out with Zephyr. Honestly, I'm not gonna waste my time on that. But, pretty dope. And good weapon. Definitely pick up the Quorum. Worth it. Upon editing my video, I was gonna edit. And I uh, really took the time to actually go back. And wanted to show you guys the special ability for Quorum that it can do on this weapon. And I was telling you guys that I wanted to make a build for the weapon so it could do more damage with it. And I think so far it might actually be doing better. But then again, like I said, it'll probably do better damage if you had a Riven. So let me bring these enemies close because they're very annoying. I think it got a little bit better because it does give you more status procs now. Uh, damage on status effects. So with this mod on, it should be doing... At least a bit more damage, you see. Like, better than what I showed you before with the build. So, because someone was telling me the mods, with that mod on, it should do better damage. And, I, yeah, I do see it. So, yeah. Let me know if you think this mod works perfectly with the to make this damage better for this type of ability. I don't even know what to call this, but, uh, yeah, this special side of the Corum. And how can I also forget my Guandeo Prime before I move on? Honestly, really another great weapon that I used it with. And I can't rem Oh, it's the Histic. I forgot I moved it over here. So that's Boron's Intent on. And the Guandeo Prime has a really... It's a really uh, high crit weapon as well. So without Prime Reach... Oh, Jesus Christ, and I forgot to put this on. This makes it even more annoying. Okay. So now we got that 
on there. This makes my Guandeo Prime, my favorite pole arm weapon, even better. You can see the damage has just increased by a lot. Really good slash damage on the Guandeo Prime. Um, yeah, like I said, high crit. Decent status. And overall, really good weapon. So, Guandeo Prime, I definitely would say, uh, if you don't have the Guandeo, pick it up, most definitely. Really good weapon, alright? You can see high crit, good crit multiplier. Uh, yeah, good status as well. Good slash, everything. So, Guandeo Prime is another good weapon to use this on. And last but not least, we have the Neferi. This is the dual dagger weapon that can shoot out a short range of fireballs. Okay, so this weapon is the amazing dual dagger uh, crit weapon over here. Has a, nearly the some good crit. Uh, you can get up to an orange crit if you have Sacrificial Steel on, which I'm going to show you the build anyways. And um, I already did a build on this weapon, so... We already know where we're going to be seeing, but we have a Mars Contempt on, and it gives you 90% melee damage, 30% slash uh, damage, and yeah, overall, it gives you a teleport to a target within 10 meters on using a heavy attack. So we got to look at that, but first, we're going to uh, just show you guys the damage with this mod on. Look at that damage. The slash. Slash with the heat procs. Oh, amazing. And the fireball damage is amazing as well. If you aim for the head, a lot of damage you can increase on the head. And it actually shoots out fireballs. They didn't really say, like, I don't know. It just seemed like the way they said it, it might be shooting out the weapon. But honestly, I didn't know what to expect. And my uh, combo counter went down, so that's why I'm doing low damage right now. But yeah, amazing weapon, by the way. Definitely have to pick this one up. So the Mars uh, Contempt teleport to a target within 10 meters on using a heavy attack. Hmm. Okay, well, let's actually give that a try really quick because I don't want to take too much time on this. Like, all these, uh, you know, added bonuses to these mods just seem really kind of, not stupid to me, but, like, I don't know what to say if I'm really being honest. I think I passed a Mars Anguish. I, I didn't even realize that, so, yeah, I'm kind of being blind right now. Uh, but you guys can see what the bonuses, well, not the bonuses, but the what the Amars Hatred and uh, Anguish does. 50% bullet jump, 50% sprint speed, 30% uh, armor, 50% ability strength. Really dope. And uh, yeah, now we got 30 meters teleporting. So honestly, I don't know what I'm supposed to expect from this. I like I I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing yeah that that no that's that's kind of stupid okay this is uh this is kind of stupid i don't know well trying to get these to work honestly i just don't even know what i'm doing honestly the the thing just don't work at all maybe it'll work out in uh, whatever mission you decide to take this weapon to with these mods on, but I don't think anybody's going to use these mods on a Warframe. Maybe, like, the ability strength, and for the rest of these uh, mods, let's search up Hatred real quick. Okay. So we got the Nyra's. It gives you health, a duration. Uh, Boros gets you shield, capacity, ability, efficiency. Like, would you guys use these mods on your Warframe? Probably just... Maybe you have the ability of strength and stuff. But I, I really don't know about the rest. Um, so the rest of these mods. But anyways, yeah, that's really all for this video. Let me know what you guys think about the three weapons and the three mods that came with these weapons. And yeah, that's probably really just it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on all social medias and Twitch. Links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.